gamers, Into the Light so far has been an absolute banger of an update, and personally, more enjoyable than a lot of seasons we've gotten over the past few years to me, giving us a bunch of fan favorite old weapons to grind and of course hung jury as well. But I know a lot of you are probably wondering what weapons you really should be focusing on for farming. Now I know most players are going to look straight at Recluse again since it was possibly one of, if not the strongest primaries in Destiny's history, but I'm gonna be honest with you, it's really not what it used to be. I mean, I will say its perk selection is pretty solid, and if you are an enjoyer of volatile round builds, then this weapon will be great for them, using a combo of Repulsor Brace plus Frenzy, Master of Arms, or Desperate Measures. Personally, Master of Arms is not really what it used to be. It's the same damage buff as Frenzy, minus all the extra benefits that Frenzy can get, so I would look at either Frenzy or Desperate Measures. But hey, if you're like me and have Ross Argo with Repulsor Brace plus Onslaught, then Recluse just kind of feels like a pea shooter in comparison, so I don't really recommend using it over it. But hey, I still think it is worth it due to its origin trait being really damn good, and it's a good feeling weapon, so. Now the one weapon I think for this week you should be farming is none other than Edge Transit. The rolls it has are nasty. And with some hints from the devs about a possible nerf to rockets, plus all the recent buffs to grenade launchers, this thing's going to be probably one of the best heavies in the entire game. Now the role I'd be looking for is either Envious Assassin or Auto Loading plus Bait and Switch. Also, since the rare or shiny drops, whatever the hell you want to call them, come with two perks in each slot, you could even get Cascade Point in the third slot to maybe swap the perk before damage, and if the mag stays over capped by Envious Assassin, you could blow your load insanely fast and put out some crazy damage if that combo is possible. And hey, even if not, Envious plus Bait and Switch is going to be a nasty roll come the final shape, so definitely farm for that. I recommend all players to get this over the next couple weeks. Honorable mentions to both Falling Guillotine and Succession for grinding. While Vortex Frame Swords aren't really that good, it now rolls with great utility perks for both movement and ad clear, plus boss damage perks in both the third and fourth column. Which, if we see any new buffs to swords, specifically Vortex Swords, this thing could be absolutely insane, with a combo like Vorpal or Frenzy, plus Surrounded or Bait and Switch to stack up some crazy damage before you even add in damage buffs from Surges and something like Well. Now Succession, if you are a non-raider or free-to-play player, is in my opinion one of the best snipers in the game, providing great roles like Reconstruction plus Vorpal, or Focus Fury or Firing Line, and even something like Lead for Gold plus Recombination to use against champions, making it like a mini Izanagi, sort of. So if you don't have this, I urge you to try and get one of these rolls and try it out because it is a damn good weapon. Personally, the other weapons really don't pique my interest over the other options in the game we currently have, so I don't really see them being worth grinding for me. But hey, this is also just my take on things, so do whatever you feel like and have fun grinding whatever you like, because personally for me, I'm probably still gonna be grinding a shiny, good rolled weapon of every single one even if I'm never going to use the weapon just so it could sit in my vault and look pretty. But next week we're going to be getting Mountaintop and Midnight Coop so I will be making a new video to let you know what to roll for those on Tuesday. Anyway, see you guys in the next one. Peace!